What's up YouTube? Welcome back to Celio's Network. Today we're talking about two things. The first being the Complete Darkness Ablaze English set list is now available courtesy to Poka Beach. And we'll also be talking about an awesome tournament that's happening in August that's free to enter online and everybody can play in it and there's money involved. So um, the set list is important for all of Pokemon TCG and also for this tournament we'll be talking about. Uh, before we get into it, shout out to PoetownStore.com, the best place for you to get PTCGO codes, and you can use code CELIO for 5% off. If you're shopping for a physical product, you can go to uh, the description down below and use the TCG Player affiliate link if you're shopping there, or if you'd like to shop at FlipSideGaming.com, you can use code CELIO, all caps, for 10% off on your next order, $10 or more. Um, so let's talk about the Darkness of Blaze set list real quick. Of course, you might have already just seen this yourself, and if you did, then let's you can just skip to the tournament part. Uh, but let's just look over this real quick. So Darkness of Blaze, there are some cards we thought we would be getting in this set that we are not. Um, because, of course, you know, the Japanese Explosive Walker and Infinity Zone sets kind of combine to make our one big set. That's how it usually goes, and sometimes we get cards later or earlier um, than we thought we would. So, here we found out, uh, according to Poke Beach, that Cursola V and Grapple Locked V are not coming out in this set, and so they presume that they will be in our special subset in September. Um, which I actually forgot we were getting a subset in September. And then they also had previously stated that we're not getting Guard of RV and Guard of RV Max until the September set. And we're also not getting some of the arts of um, Eternatus V Max. Eternatus V and V Max, we're not getting some of the arts, but Eternatus is still um, included in Darkness Ablaze for us, which is coming out on August 14th. And I'll have all the PTCGO information soon for that, for the release dates and tournaments and stuff like that. Um, so, the Struggle Gloves promo, originally translated as Adversity Gloves, so let's actually check that out real quick, because this is news to me. Um, if your Pokemon's active, if your opponent's active Pokemon is the same type as the weakness of the Pokemon this card is attached to, the attacks of this Pokemon do 30 more damage to your opponent's Pokemon. When did this come out? Five months ago, wow. Okay, I completely missed this card. So I'm learning it about I'm learning about it right now. So this is actually a really interesting card that I didn't actually realize we were getting. I'm looking at all this for the first time with you all now. Um, so yeah, Struggle Gloves promo will be included in our English Darkness Ablaze set. I didn't even know this was a card. It seems like a lot of content creators and players actually didn't know this was a card because I haven't seen anybody talking about it or speculating that it would be in this set. So that's pretty cool. Um, Dubious Canned Goods has likely been cut to go with Gardevoir in the September set. Um, so it's the, uh, discard of Psychic Energy from a Psychic Pokemon, Heal 80. It goes very well with Gardevoir, so it makes sense that it would be with Gardevoir. And, uh, let's see. So some of these cards and alternate arts did not make it into our set. Two Rainbow Rares were cut. We can't completely confirm which ones, but the two that they think would pair together are the Rainbow Rose and the Rainbow Eternatus VMAX. Um, there are reprints coming out in our starter decks of Galarian Surfetched and Galarian Darmanitan. Um, and they're saying that the Full Art and Rainbow Rare Charizard VMAX cards were never going to be in this base set. They don't know if they're ever coming to english releases or if they when they will uh, but we are still most likely actually no they confirm that we are getting uh regular charizard v and regular charizard v max in this upcoming set but the ones on the left the special v and the rainbow v max those were japanese tournament promos or something that we're not getting these are the pre-release promos um arctazult love this card so much love the pokemon and i think that looks really neat and decidueye is definitely going to be a playable card so it's cool we're getting that um and then this is the hydreigon and kangaskhan the hydreigon maybe has some potential and Pangascon, just really, really bulk card. Um, and then they have the whole set list, which I will be going over in a future video. Well, uh, I mean, I'll leave this link in the description so you can look at it yourself, but they confirmed all the cards, and in uh, tomorrow's video, I will be 
rating and reviewing every single card that Poke Beach has confirmed for this set, uh, including the Struggle Gloves card, which I didn't know about. Um, so yeah, that will be cool. Uh, they have here at the bottom, now that we're just scrolling down here, they have Colossal, oh, Colossal non-VMAX, okay. That was about to confuse me and trip me up. I'm like, wait a second, Colossal VMAX isn't coming out yet. So there's the Darkness Ablaze English set list news. So uh, for someone like me who has been creating content, it's much easier now to make decks and talk about the meta and practice and test because... I know exactly what's going to be in the set, or maybe one or two cards off, but Poke Beach is usually really good about this, so um, I'm just going to assume that they were correct with all of this. Very excited about this gloves card, that's really cool. Um, so, yeah, great that we have the set list now, it's coming out August 14th worldwide. Uh, August 13th on PTCGO. I'll make a video about all of the Darkness Ablaze information ins and outs and everything like I did for Rebel Clash. I'll make that when it gets a little bit closer to the set release. And so the other thing we're talking about today is the Pokemon TCG Online Global 2020 Championship known as the Atlas Collectibles POG 2020 Championship or the POG, or the POG 2020, or the POG Championship. I think I gave it enough names. You can call it whatever you want. Um, it's an online TCG global championship organized by tournament organizers of the community for 2020, kind of in place of worlds. They're doing a fantastic job with this so far. I love it. And what's very important is it will be played in the Ultra Prism through Darkness Ablaze format, not post-rotation team up on it will be ultra prism on so this is with darkness ablaze legal but pre-rotation very exciting because i thought we would not get a chance to play in this format i thought it would be a japan only format that we did not get to play in other than a couple of weeks on ptcgo but it looks like we are going to have a massive competition in this format which is very exciting so this page I'm on right now is the POG 2020's Indiegogo page, which is kind of like a GoFundMe-esque website um, where you can fund the tournament, kind of. So they have perks over here you can fund for from a dollar to a thousand, and the thousand one, there was only one spot, so the, uh, the company that sponsored the entire event is Atlas Collectibles. Um, so you could go here and read this for yourself. I'm going to put a bunch of helpful links in the description for this and the Facebook and the Discord and things like that. Um, but basically, uh, they have already put a lot of this together before announcing it. Um, and they plan to do day one and day two. They wanted to do cash prizing for top 16 but they've already hit their stretch goal to have prizing for top 32 so we already know that top 32 is getting money with two thousand plus dollars and there's still three to four weeks left to fund money i think like first place has to be getting like at least 500 plus dollars from this so um really cool that this is going to be a completely free tournament to play in and there's already two thousand plus dollars into it the people running it are not charging the tournament organizers the judges are not charging for their time this is all a community run thing gonna kind of be like the limitless invitational qualifier and stuff like that um so as a thank you to the pokemon tcg community for supporting the events many of us are coming together to provide a replacement tcg event for the canceled 2020 world championships run through ptcgo it is on the weekend of the 22nd and 23rd of august 2020 and the top players from the cp leaderboards are being offered a direct invitation to day two here it just talks about prizing and why they need the money so it's to you know um give players that do well a prize uh they're doing it to replace the cancellation of the world championships um they talk about if they're not reaching the goal of a thousand but they've already 
you know, they're way past a thousand. They're doing very well. Um, and then they have some links down here below. Uh, so there are a couple of really cool things. I'm going to hop into their discord and just show you some of the information. But of course, there's a fact of frequently asked questions, part of the discord, a chat room. There's a bunch of stuff in there. So join it and look for yourself. But here are a couple important things that I think you all might want to know about. So this is the time frame or this is their working time frame for the event. And what's really cool is they're having two day one pods that you sign up for according to your time zone and when is most convenient for you to play. So for day one, it's going to be 10 Swiss rounds, best of one 25 minutes over PTCGO. And like I said, in the Ultra Prism on format with Darkness of Blaze Legal. And you can choose to sign up for the 9 a.m. pod of 10 rounds or the 4 p.m. Uh, pod of 10 rounds and uh, that's according to uh, UTC time so if you're Eastern that would be uh, I'm Eastern Pacific time so or EDT or EST so I would get to choose do I want to start playing at 5 a.m. or noon I would likely start at noon that's probably going to be a little better for me and it's really nice that they're doing this one thing I'm concerned about for that is players could choose to play in the one that they think is going to be easier but I'm not really sure if players are going to decide to wake up at 5 a.m. or 2 a.m. to play in an event just because they think there might be like a few less like top players in this side of the tournament or something like that. Um, but either way, everybody's going in. To, everybody that does well goes into the same day two and plays against each other. So I think the pods are actually a really good idea i think the tournament organizers did a great job thinking of that to make it more comfortable and so players don't have to stay up through the night to play and stuff so if that works out well and if the time zones are good for everybody you know um they spread it out by seven hours so i'm sure that'll be able to work out for, and accommodate for everyone and then the uh the day two one is noon utc 8 a.m. start for EST, 5 a.m. start for PDT. So the um, PDT time one uh, is a little early, but I think it's the same as it was for Limitless. So uh, that's just something really interesting. Players might think that's that are watching this, well, you know, I'm from a different country, so uh, U.S. time events don't work for me. Well, this is a chance. Uh, one of the tournament organizers actually isn't from the U.S. I think uh, Neil from the Sunday Open is involved in this. So... Um, yeah, there he is right there. So yeah, uh, really great for everybody. International, young, seniors, masters, everything. And people are getting instant invites to day two if they were already really high on the CP rankings. And here's a couple important things. So day one pods will be tentative 10 Swiss rounds, best of one 25 minute, no ties. Um, for day one, there will be two pods played at very different times. Everyone 7-3 and better moves on to day two. Uh, day two, reset your win-loss record to zero. And you'll play about eight rounds, best of 360 minutes. Ties are in day two and work the same way as in sanctioned events. After completing all Swiss rounds, they cut the top eight from all players in day two. Uh, the format will be Ultra Prism through Darkness Ablaze. And like I said, you can join that Discord. Link is on the Indiegogo, and I'll also put it in the description down below. So you can check all that stuff out for yourself. And I'll also put the Poke Beach link for the Darkness Ablaze set list in the description below. Uh, so I hope this video gave you some new information, and I hope you all are thinking about joining in for the Atlas Collectibles POG 2020 Championship. I just want to say I am not affiliated with this tournament. Um, like, <laughs> I was not like paid or anything to tell you guys about this tournament. I'm just so excited about it. And uh, I hope some of you all are too. So that's all I have to talk about for you today. As always, subscribe to the channel if you're not already and you enjoyed the content and you'd like to see more. Make sure you leave a like. And if you're search if you're shopping for PTCGO codes, go to potownstore.com. If you are shopping for physical product, TCG Player with my affiliate link, or go to flipsidegaming.com and use code CELIO all caps for 10% off. And that's all I have to say. I'll see you next time here on Celio's Network.